Hello and welcome to this quick tips and trick video. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the difference between a literal and a field assignment when you create a brand new field. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is a script concept. So for example, I have this data. The table has customer year and sales. And let's say, for instance, I want to create a new field value called USA as a country and just assign that to all of my records. So that's a literal text value that I'm assigning to all the records. If that is the case, then I can use load statement. I can enclose the literal string or text value in single quotes. USA as country. Comma star since I want to include all the other fields and semicolon. What this will do is it will create a new field called country with a single literal value USA assigned to all the records when I load this. Now that worked since if I look at the data model in the data model viewer, I do see a new field country. And if I preview the data, of course, every record has USA assigned as a country. Instead, if I accidentally change single quotes to double quotes, and that happens to a lot of novice developers and try to run this, it will throw an error since it's looking for a field name USA and it then assigning a reference of that field to a new field called country. So we're in a sense, we're aliasing a field as a country. Since we do not have a field USA in the previous load statement, it's failing. So you need to be very careful when you are assigning a string literal as a field value because it has to be enclosed in a single quote. As soon as you enclose that in a double quote, that is being referenced as a field itself. And if the field doesn't exist, it will throw an error. Now on the flip side, if I was renaming customer as a field, I can use customer as customer name, for instance. And if I load this, that will work fine because customer is a field in the previous load statement. So that was it. Just make sure that if you're referencing a field, either you can use double quotes or you don't even require quotes at all. And that works too. But if your intention is to assign a single literal value, then it has to be enclosed in a single quote. Okay, and that's all there is. Thank you for watching. And as always, we love to share these videos and so if you like them, please like and subscribe and also become a free member on our academy analyticshub.io where we have ton of content. And just to start out, you can enroll as a free member because we have lots and lots of content even in free membership and we regularly write blog posts. So when we write a new blog post, you'll get notified. With that, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.